At the end of yesterday's video, we had just glued the other side of this little railing. And the idea now is I want to try and get it pulled around so it fits a little better. I don't know if it will. Um, looking at it up close like this, you can really see that it's, that it's not quite right. But if I could hold it something like that and glue it down something like that, it wouldn't look too bad. Um, yeah, I think I can probably manage that. Okay, I repositioned just slightly here. And I know there's a good chance that this could wick its way over and glue the pinhead to the rail. Just a little bit there. About an hour has passed. All right. Don't you think there should be a railing there? Let's take a look and see if we can find something on the uh, computer generated uh, imaging from, what is it, World of Warships or something? Okay, here we are in World of Warships website. Now I do believe this is a, a free game. I've never tried it. Um, the graphics are so good here it almost makes me want to play it. But uh, Okay, we're zooming in here. And I'm going to try and keep it centered. All right, you can see my hand there. Um, this is the railing that we just put on. We just put a little bit of glue right there. And this is that place that I thought there should be railing. And as you can see, there was. Oh, look at this. There's railing around that uh, observation thing for the anti-aircraft director. Okay, well, let's see what we can do. Uh, looks like there's a little piece of railing here. Well, that we can make out of scraps. I was already looking at that earlier. Okay, so we we got to put railing here, here, and a little piece here. Yeah, that's uh, kind of neat the way we can, you know, zoom around and look at this. Okay, now before we take our little paintbrush and paint this here, where you can sort of see the. CA glue. I can't do anything and talk at the same time. I know I keep saying that, but it's true, I can't. Anyway, I'm wondering, should I maybe be pushing that up against the mast and gluing it like that? Or should I maybe leave it well enough alone because I'd probably just end up making an obvious, you know, glob of glue there. I know it's been suggested that I use a toothpick to apply less glue because the, you know, this this needle that I'm using. This is actually just a little a little sewing needle. Um, yeah, it uh, maybe puts too much on all at once. And uh, what is this platform that goes to no place? One of the viewers suggested maybe that uh, it was a, a punishment thing. <laughs> you had to sit on it, I guess. Uh, because it, you know, the ladder comes down and there's a little platform, but then why? Oh, and interestingly enough, I, I did try to find this platform in uh, the CGI that we were just looking at. It's not there. Um, maybe it's in Stefan's book. Let's check. We are on page 165 in Stefan's book here. And when you see it drawn out like this, uh, it, it's crystal clear as to how it worked um, and what, what that little platform was for. It makes a lot of sense now. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Okay, here's the platform that we just put the railing on. Here's our signal lamp. And here's this little platform that doesn't make any sense. But if you see, there's little little rungs here, you know, that you, you can go up. Climb, climb up. Probably there should be something maybe down here that I can't see. But anyway, it makes sense. There's rungs here. You can you can sort of see there's a little handhold here that you'd grab onto. Then you'd swing yourself over onto this platform and around, and you could go up the other ladder. Uh, yeah. So now, like I say, it all makes perfect sense. Thanks, Stefan. 
And just a couple of minutes ago, I sat down here at the computer, and my intent was to add the last two scenes that I took to that which I've already uh, uh, processed for today's episode. And... Uh, yeah, I uh, hear a vehicle outside, and so I instinctively look up into my monitor, and I can see a vehicle coming along, and when it passes right in front of my house, he slows down. And uh, I knew that he was just sort of looking in. He wanted to make sure that everything was okay. On the other side of me, there's another neighbor, and she goes for a walk quite often with a friend of hers. And they'll go round and round the block, and quite well, every time they go around, they pass by my house. And I've often seen her look in the window here, uh, from the street, of course, and if she sees me, she'll wave. Yeah, it's really nice to know that there's neighbors that uh, care about the old guy that's making the model ship. Today is Sunday. And here in North America, there's still a few, not many, but there's a few people that still go to church on Sunday. Or maybe it's Saturday, depending on what superstition you adhere to. However, the point I'm trying to make here right now is, you don't have to go to church to be a nice, caring person. Now I'm going to try and be a little bit more careful today when I'm touching up, because yesterday, when I was touching up a part, I got a little bit careless. I notice right here I need a little bit too. Sort of bare plastic showing through there. I think when that dries it'll probably be okay. And uh, yeah, and the thing of it was it was an unnecessary mistake because I went to repaint where I'd already painted and I didn't improve on it. I think I probably made it worse. Now on this side where the CA kind of, I guess you might say, crystallized the white powdery residue or whatever it produces is much more visible. And once again, I think that once that dries it's going to darken a little bit. Now let's be careful not to touch the lighter mast. Okay. Leave well enough alone. Now let's go fix up that other boo-boo. Okay, you can see the spot where I accidentally touched that uh, wall there. Or as the viewer said, bulkhead. And, uh, yeah. This is very quickly becoming an unwanted comedy of errors here. In trying to cover up the dark gray with the light gray, I accidentally got the light gray on the deck above. So now I've got to get that fixed. And I wasn't being careful and I bumped a little ladder and broke it loose. And this is the ladder that I knocked loose with my paintbrush. It's still basically in the right place. No, it's not in the right place. But the camera could see it a lot better than I could. You know what? I think I'm starting to sound like I'm getting a little bit cranky here or something. I'm not. I'm actually enjoying myself. Mistakes and all. Yeah, I suppose if I take some deck tan to that little tiny bit of CA on the top there. I don't think I got it. What was I up against? I could feel that I was up against something, but that's not right. We gotta come in just a little bit different here. Oh. Yeah, there, that's getting it over. Okay. I think if we can, uh, let that cure, then touch it up with the deck tan later. I think it had to be anyway a little bit down on the bottom. I could see there, but where the uh, deck tan was sort of thinned out. Okay, now let's find some dark gray and see if I can touch up that ledge. Now I'm trying something that I've never tried before. I'm actually watching in the monitor. 
Now, unfortunately, I don't have the stereoscopic per perspective here, and so at my depth, my depth perception is zilch. This is, uh, to me, is XF53. They call it the neutral gray. Almost went too low there. I just okay, a little bit more. Okay. If I could just get maybe just a tiny bit. Okay. I've done this 100% by watching the monitor. I wish it was uh, stereoscopic like my shop microscope is. Okay. Yeah, that turned out okay. Okay, that's cured. And this is our deck tan that we mixed up many months ago now. And hopefully when that dries, it's going to blend right in with the original. on a little bit too thick right here. Maybe I should just sort of try and spread that out if I can. Maybe I should have used my other brush because it does a better job than this little tiny brush does. Hey, you know what? We're going to have to eventually put railing around there anyway. I just checked my monitor and I can see I didn't get it in behind here good enough. That's a little better. Now I noticed we have a little problem on the opposite side of the bulkhead. Same as on the other side. And once again I'm using the XF19 Sky Gray. I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look in the monitor again. This business of not having depth perception is sure difficult, but I can see it so much clearer. Maybe my paintbrush is drying out. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to turn the camera off and get it out of the way. Well, at least I don't have to repaint the upper deck with the dark gray. Now, we were looking right here at this little walkout part right here, what seems like years ago right now. And we got terribly sidetracked with painting and fixing up mistakes. Now, I'm wondering, could I get away with one section if I bent it 
into sort of a U shape. Uh, where's my photo etch pliers? They were on my little tray that I made yesterday. Okay, now, what is the width of the plier? Let's get it in there and look at it. Be careful not to break the mast off. That might be just a little bit... Might be just a little bit too wide. I could try it. And maybe it would just sort of sit on top of this little ledge that's around the deck. Okay, now my fridge just stopped running. I can hear myself think. Um, yeah. Put the photo edge plier right in the middle between the two posts and bend them back and see what happens. You know what? Maybe I should uh, nip off the extra rail first. It might be just a little bit too big. Maybe it'll sort of end up sort of fitting around the outside rim of the walkout part. I, I think I've got a symmetrical there. Okay, if I try to set it there, I'm pretty sure it's going to fall off. But if I could get it, I'll be careful now I don't break anything else off here. Oh no, it's away inside there. Now that's the idea, if I could just get this up just a little bit on both sides without it sort of springing off. I should have the macro lens on for this, you probably can't see it as good as... Okay, now, this side isn't bad. No, that's no good. The post should be back further against the uh, fence part. Well, if that's the case, let's just take it off. And raise it up. And lean it back with the posts against the fence. How will that look? I'm probably getting my, my hands in your way here and you can't see nothing. I'm trying something else. How would it be if I put the posts in between those two in the doorway, if you know what I mean. Okay, I'm sorry I'm going to get my fingers in your way here. Oh, come on. Okay, something like that. Just if I could just straighten it out just a little bit. Oh. oh, for Pete's sake. I think I better take a break here. Thanks for watching, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow. Maybe by then I'll have figured something out. <laughs>